consider me officially blown away with Claw 3, specifically the power of Opus. And today, I'm gonna share some of the most amazing and impressive things I've been discovering regarding Claw 3 Opus. I recently made a video asking if Claw 3 would dethrone ChatGPT. However, it wasn't a fair competition or a fair comparison. At the time, I was using Claude's free plan, Sonnet, in which I was comparing Sonnet to GPT-4. So with that said, back to Claude. Today, let's take a deeper dive into some of the most impressive and true features. What this thing can do is incredible. Claude also offers two very helpful resources you can use. One, a prompt library. And then the second one is a prompt engineering guide. I'll include both of these via links in my description. And then I'll also include other links to access hundreds of other prompts. Click the links in the description for hundreds of prompts that you guys can use, test, and try any way that you'd like to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with a pretty impressive but very easy prompt to try right away. Now, Claude 3 does a fantastic job recognizing and then creating HTML. In fact, in my opinion, it does do a way better job than ChatGPT 4. So with that said, let's hop on over to my Mega Prompts database. Now, right now, I'm on the AI Art one. So for this first one, we're going to test. We're going to head over to Content Creation. We're going to populate the website category. So on my database, I have all these different categories. We're going to populate the website one. And then down here at the bottom, there's a tag that says HTML and then Claw 3. We're going to hover over this prompt. And then this is a very simple prompt. We're going to go ahead and then simply copy this prompt right here. Okay. Once it's copied, now let's head over to Claude. Now check this out. Simply just paste it in the prompt box right here. Okay. So it's pasted in. Now I have Claw 3 Opus selected. My last test, my last version, I was using Sonnet. Now we're using the paid version, Opus. And in my opinion, it is definitely worth the $20 a month. Okay. Let's go ahead and now press enter. Now watch this. It simply says, you're a website power builder. You can build any eye-catching website in just one sentence. Help me with my need. Create a one-page website about AI. I don't know anything about HTML, so please take full charge. Perfect. Now, looking at this right here, you might think to yourself, if you're like me, I don't know what any of this means. No problem. Here's what we're going to do. Let's just go ahead and then let Claude finish the process. Once it's done, we're going to come over here and then just simply select copy code over here above the prompt that it just created for us. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Now let's go ahead and then select copy code. With that code copy, we need to know what this is even look like. So for that, I'd like to use any tool that you could find called HTML viewer. There's a lot of different tools you can use. I just used a simple Google search and I just looked up HTML viewer. And then this one is one of the ones that just populated for me. Google also has their own variation, but I'm looking, let's just get this done and let's take a look at this very quickly. So what I'll do now is now that I copied the code from Claude. Now on the left hand side of the screen that you see, simply paste it in. Now check this out. Once I paste it in, look at this over here on the left hand side is the pasted HTML code that I got. But look over here on the right hand side, the right hand side is exactly what the new one page website is going to look like. So just by simply utilizing the code from Claude, I'm going to get this amazing looking website with beautiful gradient colors, a nice H1 title looks great. Now imagine how easy it was to do this. You could even give Claude a more complex HTML code and it will also do the same exact thing. Thing. Now, earlier I told you about Claude's amazing knowledge base, specifically that they have an actual prompt library that you can use as a reference. So here is what it looks like right here. Again, I'll put a link in my description to this page, but this is their actual prompt library. You can use any of these prompts. All you have to do is just copy this prompt and then paste it in to Claude. And then you could even change up the text and make it your own. But one I do want to try is going to be this storytelling sidekick right here. Now, this is a common question I get for a lot of people. Do you have any prompts? prompts that could write and create a story for me because I actually have a few prompts that do a fantastic job in chat GPT. In fact, I actually made a video earlier. You could check this one out that you see on your screen right here. This makes an amazing story in chat GPT and Dolly and actually provides the images for you. But let's just focus on this one for today in the prompt library. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and then copy the first part and then also the second part right here. Okay. Now here's the important thing to keep in mind. Now, according to Claude's official website, Claude Claude understands and actually performs better when you use XML tags. Here's an example of what an XML tag is. You can see here, I'll put one first and it says instructions. Then I'll provide the task, a couple of tasks. And then right after that, you can see if I have any context, I'll add an XML tag that says context. And then again, if I'm providing an original asset, a landing page, video script, email, etc., I'll also add another XML tag right here that's called original asset. So Claude will actually 
perform and do a better job understanding when you utilize these XML tags. Now, it's not necessary, but it's helpful. So the first part of becoming a storyteller is just go ahead and then copy this first portion right here. And then we're gonna come in here and then we're gonna paste it in here. But first, we're gonna add that XML tag and you're just gonna put instructions. Here is the instruction right here. Go ahead and now copy this and now enter that below the instructions. And then so for the next part, here is what's gonna be the context, okay? Let's create a story about a young woman named Lila who discovers she has the power to control the weather. So let's go ahead and now copy this one. Head back over here and now select enter again and then add another XML tag and we're gonna call this one context just like this then right after context now go ahead and now paste the actual context in once it looks like this it doesn't have to look like this it's just a little bit more helpful from Claude's perspective now select enter now check this out look how impressive this is it first gives us a little two-way conversation to go back and forth we could take a closer look and then we could read this but notice this it then says once we establish the inciting incident we can dive into how Lila reacts to this discovery this is where Claude does an amazing job so you'll go back and forth with this two-way conversation and then basically Based off of your answer, Claude will then formulate the next chapter or the next series of paragraphs specifically based off of the answers that you provided. I'm going to provide answers from a few questions or suggestions that Claude gave me. And I'll just say she had a personal loss that was very hard on her, okay? And I'll just put in a few answers. No separation, just answer after answer, and then watch how Claude performs. Great ideas, let's build on that. How about this? So then you could see over here on GPT-4, it just goes ahead and then shoots out the story for you. No questions asked, it just says, okay, no problem. And then it performs a plot twist right here, which is pretty cool, character development. You can have a little bit of a back and forth right here with GPT-4, and it does perform well, and in my opinion, it does do a good job. However, if I go back to Claude, I think I give Claude the win on this one because I like how it goes back and forth. The very last sentence right here, let me know what you think about this direction for Lila's story and feel free to add your own ideas or twists. So based off of what I gave Claude, right? She's at first frightened, but then she feels empowered. It matches perfectly with the premise I provided it. Okay, so now moving on to the next one. This is similar to the first HTML one I showed you. Based off of their prompt library, let's go ahead and copy this one in. We're going to create a one-page website based on user specifications, okay? So I'm going to copy this first portion right here. I'm going to paste it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and then paste all of this information in as well. Now you can see here on my page, this is about 30 seconds in, and then Claude over here is still hard at work. But just watch. It's mesmerizing to watch it just write this 100% accurately and perfectly. It's been copied. We're going to head back over here to this tool that we used earlier today, paste it in, and then here we have it over here on the right-hand side. Perfectly done. Okay. Here's the search bar at the top right-hand corner, and then we have the tabs. We have the subheadings right here, and then we have the featured courses, the images, and then we have have success stories and then even the contact bar right down here. I'm over here on my website right here. I made a copy of one of my most recent blog posts and we're going to try this in real time with a real HTML block. And as it appears, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste that HTML code that we got from Claude 3 right here and let's see if it appears on my website. And then there you have it. Look, there is the code and uh, according to the code, look at this right here. So on my website right here, it did put it exactly how it is supposed to appear. Okay, now this next thing I want to do is also pretty impressive. So in order to receive some more clarity, I'm going to upload this image directly into Claude 3 and then just ask it to simply extract the text for me. That way I can have my recipe in a simple, easy to read text format and then just say extract the text, please. It's as simple as that. Now select this little attachment button. And now I'll select my download right here. Here's the image. It's been uploaded. Now, let's give it a couple of seconds. Now watch this. Extract the text, please. Hit generate. Now look at this. Look how amazing and convenient this is. If I compare the two, this makes things a whole lot simpler and easy to use for me, especially since if I open the image back up again, if you notice the text is too small and too blurry and pixelated, I can't make out what it is. But now, since I did that, Claw 3 did a fantastic job providing not only the 
ingredients, but the details of it, and then even the instructions. Amazing job. Okay, now let's move on to another pretty fun one. This is going to be called Mood Colorizer. Your task is to take a provided text description of a mood or emotion and then generate a hex color code that visually represents that mood. Simple. Let's go ahead and now copy this. And now let's also just go ahead and then um, copy these emotions right here directly from the prompt library. Okay, so it gave us FF1744. Not sure what that is, but to figure out what this is, let's head over to Canva and let's go ahead and figure out exactly what this is. So I have a square right here selected. Okay, now what I'll do is head back over to Claude and now let's simply copy this hex code right here. And now let's change the color of it and I'll paste it over here on the left hand side. I'll paste the new number in and then there we have it. There is the new color. Wow, that's pretty cool. I actually like the way this color looks. So if you look at the description, it says a passionate, intense and fiery emotion full of love and desire. If I look at that image or if I look at this color right here, I think this explains it 100% accurately. That's what I would think of when I saw this specific color. I actually like this. Okay, now moving on. Another one that's going to work very well for people. It's what's called brand builder. Okay, create a comprehensive design brief for a holistic brand identity based on the given specifications. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and then select enter and then you could see what I told it to do. So holistic brand identity for a new fashion brand called Eco Threads. Okay, focuses on high quality stylish clothing and accessories. And then here we have it. Immediately, we're going to get this very cool design brief and it's going to provide some really unique brand building features and descriptions that we could use. What I like about this one in Claude is that the details are very sharp, consistent, and it matches perfectly for some of the recommendations you're supposed to do in the brand building world. Okay, and then before we wrap this up, let me just go ahead and show you a few more of these prompts in this prompt library that I would recommend that you try for yourself. So another really cool one is going to be the email extractor. You can extract email addresses from a document into a JSON formatted list. So for an example, if you ever have a email list where I have and it's uh, you get this list and it's all jumbled up and everything is sort of together like this where it has the name phone number and then the email and like these parentheses there's never been an easier way to completely separate that and with using a prompt like this you can go from this jumbled up paragraph of text and actually get these organized and then structured separated email addresses just like this. Okay, so another good one is going to be called a simile savant. Help me create some similes to describe a person's laughter that is joyful and then contagious. So check this out. What I like about this is that this can be used for a lot of helpful things. So when you paste this prompt in, look at the example output it gives you right here, okay? So based off the user prompt, his laughter bubbled up like a freshly opened bottle of champagne, effervescent and full of life, okay? And then we also have the second one right down here. So you can basically describe the content and then you'll get this example output just like this. But here's where this comes into play. You could utilize this method or this prompt to generate some unique looking title ideas, social media posts or anything else. So I'll say down here at the bottom, help me create some similes to describe. Now to say that describes a person's personality as positive, upbeat and optimistic. Now watch this. Hit the enter button and then it's going to automatically give you these cool looking similes. And so what's really really unique and cool about this is that it gives us 12 really good ones. And to be quite honest with you, I'll admit I'm not creative enough to come up with things like this. So here's where the creativity comes in, especially if you have a little bit of a mind fog. This simile savant works wonders for me. Okay, so another good one is going to be like a polisher right here. Refine and improve written content with advanced copy editing techniques and then suggestions. This is going to be phenomenal to use for blog posts or any sort of creative writing that you have to do. So based off this prompt right here okay give it the content and then give the second prompt from the user and then based off of this combination you're going to get content that is highly improved and ready to be used that's going to be eye-catching and create a more memorable sort of experience to the reader okay so moving on these other two are going to be extremely helpful specifically for people who have like an e-commerce or even like an etsy store where you want to come up with some product names and that's where these two can come in we have the first one product naming pro create catchy product names from description and keywords and then we have Babel's broadcasts create compelling product announcements tweets in the world's 10 most spoken languages I'll get to that one in a second but here is the product naming pro okay so you first feed it this prompt right here okay let's go ahead and do that then we're gonna actually provide the 
the description of the product we actually have. Hit enter. Now let's come up with something we want to describe. So over here, it shows this product, a noise canceling wireless over ear headphone with a 20 hour battery life and touch control. So I just changed it up so we can get something a little bit different. I said a powerful wireless speaker. Now let's generate it and then see what this comes up with. So just like that, it's going to provide some creative and memorable product name ideas for the wireless speaker. Now look at this right here. Sonic Touch Pro, Audi Oasis, SoundQuest, Audio Affinity, Harmony Go, Sonic Soul. I mean, pretty good job. Very creative too. So now if we go over here to Babbel's broadcast, now this is very incredible as well. Create compelling product announcement tweets in the world's 10 most spoken languages. So I'll paste it in, but this time I'm going to change it up. Instead of binoculars, we'll try headphones this time here. And it's going to give us 10 of the most commonly spoken languages in real time. So we have English right here introducing our game-changing wireless headphones perfect and then it's going to come on down and then follow it up with different languages so we have chinese spanish french and then the list will just continue until it meets all top 10 of the most used languages in the world perfect and then even look at this right here right down here even arabic and then hindi it has everything perfectly written this is very impressive as well now this is just the basics and just the tip of the iceberg of the capabilities and power that claw three we can use but make sure you hit that subscribe button because as we go on with all the improvements we'll really take a deeper dive in the claude's capabilities and then really perform some very tedious and powerful tasks so let me know what you guys think have you tried claude and how do you think it actually compares to chat gpt but thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time Rise up and turn it back.